there is only one truth, and so the only real philosopher is the guy who's got that right answer, you know, finding the right answers. That's, that's the science of philosophy. I'm not an unpleasant person, I don't think, or I don't have a dismal or horribly dark personality, you know, by nature. Um, but the philosophy can get dark, and most people can't take that dark. And depending on your attitude and your mood and the context, I mean, each word is, is more than just its letters. Um, you have both that emotional response and the intellectual one, plus the context of how you're already disposed when you're receiving it, what kind of mood you're in. If you take my philosophy to its end, there's a, there's a point you reach, that I reach, where I've drawn certain conclusions. For me personally, as one of the beings caught up in this thing, who didn't choose to be here, somebody else took that risk, uh, decided for me that, oh yeah, well, we'll just see what happens and hopefully the kid comes out happy and normal and everything will be wonderful. And he won't be a perfectionist and he won't find four million flaws in this wonderful, magical, fun thing called life. Well, it didn't work out that way for me anyway, personally. I'm not an unhappy person, but you know, people use the word unacceptable, it doesn't mean anything. Well, to me, it does kind of mean something. I find a lot of this shit unacceptable. You gotta take it for everything that it is, and if we're gonna sit there and endorse life, then we have to endorse the fact that, you know, whatever, 50% of the world's population is, you know, I think it's 70% or 65% or whatever the number is, is living either under a dirt roof or on a dirt floor. You know, most human consciousness is it's not making videos with candles in a nice comfortable house uh, who's had the benefit of, uh, you know, reading fancy books. And that's the reality. It needs to be addressed and we can't just keep pretending it's wonderful.